Hey Joe, what's wrong? Are you having problems in your relationship with Harry Potter? I, I'm not Joe. Are you Luna? Yes, that's me. Uh, hi, my name is Vera. I don't know how I got here. Welcome to Hogwarts Heaven, Vera. If you arrived here, it means you've finished an important phase in your life and you're ready to fly. Well, indeed, I finished middle school, so that's actually really true. So, this is the Ravenclaw common room, right? Yes, the Ravenclaw girls dormitory, to be more specific. I'm so glad we're in the same house. I think we're going to be great friends. I don't know why, but I feel like Ravenclaw is the only house in the heaven version of Hogwarts. I think it's the most angelic house, and you are the most angelic character. Am I right? Actually, we have all of the four houses. We are all angels here, but you are not totally wrong. In fact, I was chosen as the queen of Hogwarts Heaven due to my angelic personality. I have the feeling that you are a lot like me, therefore one day you might become a queen too. That sounds amazing! Luna, could you please introduce me to Harry, Ron and Hermione? I didn't see them in the Great Hall and I don't know the password to the Gryffindor common room, but I'll let you know as soon as I find them. I want to discover everything. Can you be my partner in this journey? Sure, but I already showed you everything. Can we go up there? Flying is not as easy as it seems, but I'm sure you can do it. Wow! What a beautiful house on that cloud! Look at the door. It's my name! And it says Ravenclaw Angel in the Hogwarts Heaven. All new angels that arrive in Hogwarts Heaven have their own little home, which is where they truly belong. The home you had on Earth wasn't your place. I'm sure you felt that. When Earth angels arrive here, it means they are ready to find their real home. Since the day I've read the Harry Potter series, I've been sure that Hogwarts is my real home. But it is! Hogwarts is everyone's home, while this one is all yours. Here you can find anything you wish for. Wait, isn't Hogwarts a school, just like in the books? Aren't we late for classes? Yes, it is a school, just more heavenly than what you've read. Here we don't have scary creatures or death eaters, everything is peaceful. And heaven is out of time, so you can be late or early. Great! I would love to see what kind of magic angels learn, so can we go now, please? Sure, you can meet all of the characters and also other people just like you. That girl seems familiar, even though we never met before and she definitely isn't a character. Vera, this is Emma. Emma, this is Vera. Congrats, you just found your twin soul. Hogwarts Heaven is a place where a lot of people find their twin souls. They are usually in the same house and you recognize them as soon as you first meet them. On Earth, you most likely lived very far away from each other, but here your homes are identical. The only difference is in the names on the doors. The more you'll chat, the more you'll find things you have in common. Twin, let's go on a flight together. It is time to be higher, to be higher now. It is time to be brighter, to be brighter now. A new school, a new friend, a new routine in this new life. Cause it's time to be higher, to be higher now. I believe this is a sign for us. You're right, twin. Let's go higher now. Welcome to Eagle's Gate. Only true Ravenclaws can pass through it. The first step to your new life was arriving in Hogwarts Heaven. The second one was finding your twin soul. And now you are at the third one. Each house has its own gate. What's your house? Oh, wait. Your Ravenclaw energy is so strong, especially when you are together. I never had a more obvious case before. Ooh, wow. A Rowena Ravenclaw? Is that you? Close. I'm actually Rowena's spirit, the goddess of Ravenclaw and the ruler of the Eagle's Gate Kingdom. 
You two have a very important mission. You, you just found your twin. A treasure you will win. Just, just face your biggest, biggest fear and, and your new, new life is near. I don't even know what my biggest fear is. I have a lot. Same twin. I'm so sorry, but I can't help you with the meaning. You will have to discover it by yourself. So what are we supposed to do now? I don't know. I guess we have to search for signs, since the eagle spirit won't help us more. I think we have to face some obstacles or something, but we don't have a clue about where and when they're going to appear. Oh, look at those clouds! To start your new life, you have to unleash your hidden talents. Do we have to show these people what we're capable of? I think so. But wait, the clouds said hidden talents, and we don't know ours yet. Just like the phoenix, you will arise. Out of the ashes, you're gonna fly. Feeling the healing, tears in your eyes. Nothing can stop you, now you're alive. Wow, you are you're amazing, amazing singers. singers. But we wanted to ask you, do you know what we're supposed to do to discover our hidden talents? You have to look deep inside your hearts and find your hidden talents. When you can think about something you are talented at, you will know exactly if that's the one you need to activate or not. After you find out what hidden talent you have, show it here on the stage. The judges, which are four really nice angels, will have to say their honest opinion about it and, depending on that, you will take one more step towards your new life. I'm good at drawing, but that's not really hidden. I show my art a lot on social media. We all love your artwork, Twin, but I don't think that's it. Maybe it's a musical talent? I heard you singing along to the sisters and you sounded really good. Oh, really? But I don't have any experience in that. Neither do I, but maybe we could give it a try. I think this might be it. And if the judges say singing is the answer, why don't we ask the sisters if we can join their band? Wow, that would be a dream come true. But first, let's ask them to teach us a song that we can perform on stage. Wait, do you remember the song those angels were singing to us before we entered Eagle's Gate? It was something about going higher in a new life. Oh yes, that one is perfect. Life is a constant change, why does it feel so strange? I know it's not so easy, how do I feel so ready? It, it is, is time, time to, to be higher, to be higher now. It, it is, is time, time to be brighter, to be brighter now. A new school, a new friend, a new routine in this new life. Cause it's time to be higher, to be higher now. Doing things on my own, because now I have grown. Different than other people, but I fly like an eagle. It is time to be higher, to be higher now. It is time to be brighter, to be brighter now. A new school, a new friend, a new routine in this new life. Cause it's time to be higher, to be higher now. You did an awesome job! We would love to have you two in our band. How... how did you read my mind? I... we were... Are you and your sister's Harry Potter fans? Of course we are! Hogwarts has created such an amazing community, and our suits are in our actual house colors. What houses are you in? <laughs> I'm pretty sure they are Ravenclaws. I mean, just look at them! You're right, I was thinking the same, but I just wanted to make sure. So, we are all witches? Me and Vera believe we might have more than one hidden talent, and I think the second one might be about doing magic. But is that talent hidden as long as we arrived at Hogwarts? We definitely showed our magic abilities there. Good point, Twin. But we've only had one charms class, 
because after that we met and flew away. That's also a good point, Twin. Should we go and ask a magician, like we asked the three sisters? I think we can do it by ourselves this time, since we have already got used with the atmosphere of this place. Let's start with the spells from Harry Potter. But wait, we don't have our wands. That's what I was thinking, but the actual hidden talent would be creating our own spells. All Hogwarts students can cast those classic ones. I have an idea. People say twins can read each other's minds, and we already know how to do that. Oh yes, that's perfect! We really are talented at that, but no one knows it except us. It's like having our very own language. So, how's school going? Great, I'm a... A Ravenclaw, of course. So... so... Oh god, I'm so happy right now. My heart is filled. I feel so ready for this change. I have you, I have the band, I have Luna. What a colorful life! Oh... Are you... You're just the same as I am. But will we still be twins when the new life starts? Is that even a question? Well, I have one particular answer in mind, and I want to see if you can read it. Oh, that makes sense now. Always. Yes, after all this time. Remember the prophecy the Ravenclaw goddess gave us? We have to face our biggest fear. Yes, twin, you're so smart. I know. Let's attack the dragon. Ten out of ten. Well done, girls. You have just entered your new life. The actual talent that helped you pass was neither saying nor reading minds, but fighting. Yes, that's right. You did an amazing job with the muggle dragon. You believe in yourselves, and that will help you a lot in this new life. Wait, what? The Muggle Dragon? There is no such thing as dragons in the Muggle world. That's right. We were born there and have lived there for almost 15 years. Yes, of course there isn't. But that's how we call this creature. Because he hates magic, and whenever someone shows a wizarding talent, he gets mad and tries to kill them. Most of the people have the power deep inside them, but are too afraid to use it. So, um, it really doesn't end up well. But with you, I, I, I'm speechless. You are one of the very first people who ever faced it. So congratulations and welcome to your new life. For, For my, my lovely sisters, sisters Vera and Emma, Ravenclaw Angels, Angels of Hogwarts, Hogwarts Heaven, Heaven and Heroes, Heroes of the New Era, era. Use, use your treasure, treasure wisely. wisely. It's, it's magical. magical. It's pretty obvious that they are one for me and one for you. They look like two hearts that beat us one. Here is yours, and here is mine. Emma, Vera, welcome to your new high school. Hi, Luna, we missed you. Do you know anything about our treasure? These roses symbolize the power of love and twinship. They will give you a lot of good luck and they will make sure you never lose each other, even in your future lives. What about the note that was with them? It told us to use it wisely, whatever that means. You have to think of a password that only you two will know. When one of you is in trouble, or even both, you can say it and the roses will sing a song just for you. But especially now, since you are more grown up compared to the old life and you gave up your fears, you'll get easier through the hard situations, so you don't have to say the password for every single obstacle. That's why you need your wisdom to use them. But you are Ravenclaw Queens, and I believe in you. Thank, Thank you, Luna. Luna. Wait, what about our band? They remained in that hidden talent showroom, and I don't think we can go back there too soon. Twin, do you hear anything downstairs? Let's go to them. Our Ravenclaw Queens. We were waiting for you, lovelies. Come on, sing a song with us to mark this start. Life is a constant change 
Why does it feel so strange? I know it's not so easy. How do I feel so ready? It is time to be higher, to be higher now. It is time to be brighter, to be brighter now. A new school, a new friend, a new routine in this new life. Cause it's time to be higher, to be higher now. Doing things on my own. Because now I have grown. Different than other people But I fly like an eagle It is time to be higher To be higher, to be higher now It is time to be brighter To be brighter now A new school, 